Okay, so now we've built our runbook and we need to test it out. So what we're going to do is use the runbook tester utility, which you can simply launch from the runbook designer. And this allows us to step through our runbook just like you would step through code in a tool like Visual Studio or the PowerShell integrated scripting editor and similar tools. As you can see, we have our activity or our uh, runbook listed here up top with all of our activities, uh, just like we created it in the runbook designer. Uh, but what we can do is actually step through and run each step individually to see what's happening. So let's click the step through button and this is going to initiate our initialized data parameters. If you recall from our uh, runbook designer session, we created a initialized data activity that gathers the computer name uh, that we will use to launch the ipconfig uh, utility on. So we're going to type in Scorcha1 as our computer name and we will step to the next step in the process which is to execute the ipconfig utility. So let's go ahead and run that. Now as you can see the ipconfig utility succeeded and it jumped down here to our send event log message. So let's go ahead and step through that and the runbook completes because it has nowhere else to go at this point. So let's go ahead and fire up the computer management snap in and go to the event viewer Windows logs and then the application event log. As you can see, Orchestrator has logged an event saying that the program has succeeded. Now let's change things up a little bit and cause the execution to fail. We're going to rename ipconfig to ipconfig2.exe, which we know doesn't exist, and click finish. We're going to go back to our runbook tester and we'll step through the process again. We'll specify our computer name as Scorch01. We'll step through to the ipconfig command, execute that, and as you can see that failed because the process is, does not exist. Uh, that caused the smart link to evaluate false on this bottom one and true on this failure one. So we're now going to step through and finish the send event log message activity that logs the program failed text. Let's fire up the event viewer again. Go to Windows Logs, Application, Orchestrator, and as you can see, program failed because it does not exist. So that's a really simple example of a runbook. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the introductory session to Orchestrator 2012 Service Pack 1 and I hope you to see you again in the future. Thanks.